Hello, my name is Dami Shebu and I'm an Applications Engineer with Yokogawa. Today, I'll be demonstrating how with a few easy steps, you can simulate transient AC and DC signals with an oscilloscope and an arbitrary function generator. With the development of oscilloscope and data recorders, engineers are now able to capture signals from various electrical devices and analyze them for phenomena such as transients, glitches, and other things. These instruments can be left in the field for days at a time to collect data and then post-processing can be done on the gathered information. This solution that Yokogawa offers allows engineers to be able to recreate the captured electrical phenomena in a test environment. In this example, I'll be using a Yokogawa DLM 4000 oscilloscope to capture a sine waveform that is being generated from my demo signal generator and then I'll be recreating the same waveform using the Yokogawa FG420 arbitrary function generator. As you can see here, I have the output of my demo signal generator connected to my passive probe, which in turn is connected to our DLM 4000 oscilloscope. I am now ready to run my experiment. I press the auto setup button, which automatically sets the time per division, trigger level, and other such settings based on the input signal. Now we can see that with the simple push of a button, my oscilloscope is capturing the signal. Now that I have my signal, it is time to save the captured waveform. I simply insert a USB flash memory drive. I go to file. I make sure I select waveform. I select the file location, and then I press save waveform. Now that I have my signal, which is saved as a .wdf file, I simply convert it to a .txt file and upload it to my arbitrary edit software on my PC. The waveform is ready to be transferred to the arbitrary function generator. I have connected my FG420 to my computer through USB. We will go ahead and open up the arbitrary edit software that comes free with the FG420 and locate the file that was previously saved. Now that the file has been located and open, you can see that this is indeed the waveform that was previously captured. By simply going into the setup menu, selecting setup, selecting the waveform tab, adding a memory name, selecting a memory location, and simply pressing transfer data, the file is now being transferred to our arbitrary function generator. Now that the waveform has been transferred and loaded to the FG420, it can be outputted by simply pushing the out button. It is important to keep in mind that there are a number of different adjustments that can be made to the waveform. You can adjust the frequency, the amplitude, the DC offset, as well as the phase. The output time can also be set in terms of a frequency or period. Just to confirm that we did recreate the signal, we can output it from our FG420 arbitrary function generator to our DLM4000 oscilloscope. As you can see here on the oscilloscope, we did actually recreate the signal that we captured earlier from our demo signal generator. As you can see, with a few easy steps, you can capture a waveform with an oscilloscope and recreate it using an arbitrary function generator. This method can be used for a variety of different waveforms such as IV curves, startup, PWMs, sawtooths, and many more. Thank you for watching this how-to video. For more information, please visit our website at tmi.yokogawa.com.